Welcome back to my channel and happy Black History Month guys. This month I'll be serving you guys some Black Woman Slay. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you want to know how I achieved it just stay tuned and keep watching. As I've already done my eyebrows if you want to know how I've done it just check out my eyebrow tutorial. So now I'm just going to apply some of my Mineralized MAC skin finish powder on my eyelids as a transition colour then I'm going to use my 224 brush and grab my covergirl bronzer and just give myself a cut in my crease next I'm going to grab some of my LA Girl Pro concealer in pure beige and I'm just going to dab some of that concealer onto my eyelids I'm doing so to prep it for the yellow that I'm about to use next so guys, I'm using the yellow from the Morphe 12P palette. This is the Picasso palette, I believe. And this palette is currently sold out on the website. So perhaps joining the mailing list to know when it's back in stock. But I'm just using an eyeshadow brush and I'm applying that onto my eyelids where I primed with the concealer. And next, grabbing my BH Cosmetics Glitter Eyeliner. I'm just going to go over that crease and define it a little bit more. Now I'm using my e.l.f cosmetics liquid eyeliner guys this eyeliner is a very easy eyeliner to use i would definitely definitely recommend it to those that are beginners or if you're just on a budget and you want a cheap eyeliner that's very effective elf is the way to go just before applying my fake eyelashes i'm just going to apply some mascara onto my eyelashes and i'm using the mac insta curl now I'm using my VN Lux Glamour eyelashes and then I'm using some tweezers just to apply them. I always stick the center down and then do the side. And I'm also going to have a discount code in a bio for you guys, so do check it out. So to prime my skin guys, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Velvet Blurring Primer. It's so silky and smooth on my skin. It felt absolutely amazing. And I did feel as though it gave me a matte finish so I would definitely advise using it if you have oily skin moving on to foundation I'm also using the ultimate coverage foundation for a natural but yet full coverage I did think to begin with the foundation was a little bit too light perhaps half a shade too light for me however as you guys are gonna see the foundation did oxidize and then eventually it suited me perfectly To highlight, I'm using my LA Pro Girls Concealer in Pure Beige. I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, on my forehead, the nose of my bridge and my chin. I do so because those are the areas that I really want to focus on when it comes to highlight. And those are also the areas where natural light will bounce off. Now I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to blend that all through. Also guys, my beauty sponge is damp. I would definitely, definitely, definitely advise using a damp beauty sponge or blender to get the best results. To contour, I'm using my Black Opal True Colour Foundation Stick in Black Walnut. I'm just going to apply that on the hollows of my cheeks and the sides of my nose just to give the illusion of a slimmer nose and more defined cheekbones. To blend the contour on my nose, I'm going to use the Eyebrow Deluxe brush from Real Techniques just because it's a smaller brush and it can really get in there properly. Next, I'm using a dry beauty sponge and I'm going to dip into my Laura Mercier and I'm just going to apply down all the areas that I highlighted on my face. I'm doing so to set those areas to ensure that there's no oil build up and to make my under eye highlighter pop. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark. And to add some warmth to my face, I'm just going to use my CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in shade Ebony. To line my lip, I'm going to use MAC Lip Pencil in Cork. For this look, I wanted a beigey cream lipstick, so I decided to use my MAC naturally transform matte lipstick 
for my waterline i'm just gonna line it with the maybelline master cold black eyeliner guys this eyeliner is so black it's a jet black and i love it it's a creamy texture so it's not too harsh on the eye and then i'm gonna use an angle brush and i'm just gonna neaten up the black eyeliner and just straighten it out a little bit more now that I'm done with baking, I'm just going to use my Real Technique setting brush to remove the excess powder that's on my face. On my bottom lashes, I'm just going to apply some of the MAC Insta Curl Mascara. Moving on to that glow, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife um, highlighter. Guys, this highlighter is just such a sexy highlighter. It's one of those highlighters that have mad sex appeal. I don't even know. I don't even know what that means, but it's just so sexy. And I'm just going to drown myself in it. And I'm just going to put some on my brow bone just to give that brow bone glow. <laughs> and then in my tear ducts, I'm going to use the Artist Couture. Um, highlighter in Illuminati just because I didn't want my tear ducts to be too golden as well considering I have yellow on my eyes and now some fix plus spray to get rid of the powdery look and guys with this hair it's actually a synthetic wig that I got for 20 pounds at my local beauty store <laughs> it's it was like such a bargain I had to get it and it was so pretty and it actually looks like someone's natural hair and I thought it goes well with this look so guys here's the finished look <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Comment if you like this look. And also make sure your notifications are turned on so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. Hey my lovelies, just an update for my makeup masterclass. I literally, literally cannot wait to meet some of you guys. Tickets are still on sale on Eventsbrite. So I'm gonna have a link in my bio. Be sure to purchase your tickets. Guys, it's going to be an afternoon full of fun. I can't wait for you guys to meet each other, for us to network, for you to learn some great makeup tips and not to mention the best goodie bags. I'm literally counting down the week and we have three weeks left. So make sure you get your tickets now.